Now today is the 9th of March and it marks the first day of National Science and Engineering Week and we're joined by Claire Valentine who is Head of Zoology Collections here at the museum. But at the end of the show we are going to be running um, a competition. One of these three lovely contestants along the side are going <laughs> to win the opportunity to go and spend Monday with Claire. Who do you think should spend the day working behind the scenes with Claire? Should it be CT, Sharice or Esther? If you think it should be CT, can you put up your hands now? And Aoife will um, count you up. Who thinks it should be Sharice? And if you think it should be C, Esther? Oh, okay, that's a problem. <laughs> We've got a tie <laughs> between CT and Sharice or Carice. So, what do we do in that situation? I think we can probably cope with them both. Really? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, well, that's, that's a nice compromise. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased I won. Um, I don't think I would have applied if I didn't want to win and have the day. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can get out of it. It's going to be a really good experience for me, being a biologist student as well as what you say. The idea of showing you this is so you can see how specimens come in and the methods that we use to prepare them. Okay, now we're going into the dance area. Something like this, there's a lot of small bones once they've eaten through most of the flesh on here. So that one might go in. But you only put small sections in the box. So there we go. That's it. Here's a, another specimen that's been through the dermisteria and is waiting to be cleaned up. What we need to do now is once it's come out of the freezer is wash it off and remove any larvae because they tend to get stuck in the, the nooks and crannies. And as you can see some of the specimens have got quite fine bones so you need to be really careful when you're cleaning them up and also to make sure that you don't lose any of the bones in it. Once, once this is cleaned up, because that will take a few hours to, to sort of scrub up, then it will be left to dry uh, for several weeks. And then once that's finished, all the bones need to be labelled. Um, every specimen gets a unique registration number. Okay, this is the primate collection. This entire floor houses the skins and skulls of the collection. So there's very limited actual active collecting. Um, what you see in most of the material that we're preparing now is um, by donation, things that people have found. Um, primates are, are all protected. Um, so the collections, people will mainly come here to look at the historical content. Um, this is a, a sort of, probably from the Victorian times, a sort of oddity, if you like. It's a, a piglet with two bums. Uh, just show you some of the skins. They have so many wow. the same thing. And as you can see, there's great variation. All of these are the same species. Yeah, it'd be quite cool to look at. Have you got like a, a bush baby skull? It's through there, right? no. <laughs> so these are some of the, the bush babies. Yeah. Uh, which is about to go into the X-ray rooms. obvious reasons because we've got the large tanks here. And this is where we keep all the really big specimens as you'll see, the large jars around the outside and then the specimens once you get beyond that kind of size of glass jar they actually become very difficult to work with so then we move into the tanks and put two specimens in instead. Here we've got an assortment of large specimens. I'm going to have to go and grab some traps from in there. Oxford University wants to know if it's feasible to get a yellowfin tuna scale. So I'm just having a look. See if you can get one from the edge of that wood. That's excellent, that's exactly what we want. Basically it was caught in about 2004 by some fishermen and um, they pulled this out of the water. And Luckily they were pretty on the ball and the first thing they did was freeze it and that's really important because uh, 
giant squid specimens, whole specimens like this are complete, uh, really, really rare. So to have something that was sort of frozen immediately so it's, it's, it keeps as fresh as, as possible is really, really, really great. <laughs>